So some of us uh, like to track where we go, and this is my route at Camp Manitoc. Uh, the green route, 5.1 kilometers, uh, 10 controls. I'm going to start it, and uh, I'm going to narrate as we go. You can see that I shoot out across the field, and then I was able to find a path there. Um, this map is not perfectly geo-referenced, so uh, at some point uh, it might look like I'm not on a trail, but I'm actually uh, probably on a trail. I was able to find control one really quickly. It was at the end of the spur there. And then I came back up to the road. It's probably more on the road there, actually, than what it looks like in reality. And then I decided to shoot up the hill. I found the trail that was there and then kind of found that little short trail. And so I knew exactly where I was. And from there, I shot an azimuth to control number two. Control number two was a cliff or like an earth bank. So it was quite the steep sort of down to the water and then back up, and I found it right at the top there. It's placed really well. Uh, open field, uh, out in another big open field, easy running through there, um, and then down to the road by the lake. You'll see me make a little pause there because I stopped and I chatted with some other people coming the other way. I followed the road up, and I knew that there was going to be that gas well there, so I figured I would use that corner of the gas well field uh, as an attack point, and then I shot down the spur instead of going down the re-entrant. Found the control, and then I did a, really, uh, a quick re-navigation there. Climbed another pretty steep hill. I figured I would meet the trail and sort of be able to pick that up pretty easily. I shot straight through the woods there, picked up the trail, and then I found, it was like a couple of mini re-entrants there. I jumped down and I got it. Picked the trail back up, even though it doesn't look like it, and then uh, figured I would jot out to that gas well picked up the big trail in the gas well there. And then here you'll see me make a loop back because I did a few other things there. I met with another uh, orienteer. And then I shot through the woods. Um, there I go. Uh, I don't think I was on that trail, but I was able to kind of navigate in. Here I made a decision to try to go around the re-entrant, and then it was too steep and full of stuff, so I just down I went. I uh, got the control, which was really easy. It was on the sort of the back end of that hill. And then I uh, found a little nice path there. Um, by, it was called Lily's Ledge, and so we found a nice little path, path to follow, and you'll see that I pick up the other path here pretty quickly, even though it might not be super accurate, um, and then I navigated through, and I figured here I was watching the map, I was like, when the, the trail comes and hits the water, I'm going to shoot off, that's going to be my attack point, so um, doesn't look exactly where I was there, but right there I sort of shoot, and that's where I was at the waters, water in the path, and then um, <clears throat> shot up the hill a little bit, came around first re-entrant, and then the second re-entrant, and then I uh, used that to navigate into the control. And there's the control. It's probably a little bit off again for the geo-referencing. Um, through the woods, uh, it wasn't too thick. I kind of just took a compass bearing there and figured I would find those trails that uh, you can see by control 7. Control 7 really had me going for a loop there. I shot out too early and ended up on the other spur instead of the re-entrant, I came back up to the trail. I said, okay, where, where am I? I had to re-navigate or reorient myself. And then back to sort of the main intersection, found the control, and, and got a little bit upset there. Got the trail, and then what I think is the octagon shelter, some sort of shelter, through the field, and then down the hill there. This one's really steep, really steep and kind of wet to get into, um, but I was able to find the control pretty easily. And then I made the decision here to to climb up the hill as opposed to following the river. I think that would have been an okay choice to follow the water, um, but I'd never run in this area before, so I decided to get on the path. And here I'm actually on the path. Again, map isn't geo-referenced, but you'll see me make the turn here. So I was looking for uh, where the water and the path intersected to find the spur for Control 9. And so it's a little bit funky of an animation, but there's one, there's two, and then I shot out for the, for the spur. I was really frustrated here because I knew that I was in the exact right location, and you can see that uh, I'm, I'm right on target there, uh, and I could not find it. Uh, and several others that ran the green route could not find control number nine. Here I decided to then kind of climb my way back up the other spur just to, in case it was there, and apparently it was right on the spur uh, to, the, to the east of that. Picked up the trail and decided to uh, follow that down to control number 10. And by control 10, I was physically and mentally tired. Uh, this was normally longer route. I was 
probably at this point it was like seven kilometers in, so it was a little bit longer than I normally did. I ended up not uh, getting anywhere near 10 and sort of giving up a little bit. I made it up to the clearing there, which looks a little bit off, but it's kind of a Boy Scout camp there. And I thought I'll shoot back out, and I thought maybe that was the, the right. I, I was just mentally exhausted at that point, so I decided to shoot back. So that was my route, the green route. Uh, I think it went overall pretty well. I learned a lot, so I um, hope, uh, hope you enjoyed it.